While medication will not cure HIV, these medicines are so effective that they can restore your immune system to near normal levels and therefore you should live a near normal life. Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Rosenberg, infectious disease physician and clinical microbiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital and professor of pathology at Harvard Medical School. And this is Fact Check HIV AIDS. Fact Check HIV and AIDS are pretty much the same thing. This is false. Being HIV infected just means that the human immunodeficiency virus is living in your body. However, having AIDS or the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is what happens to somebody after years of having HIV inside their body. Fact check. If you have HIV, it's only a matter of time before you have AIDS. This is false. There are now over 30 drugs that can effectively treat HIV infection. These medications prevent the virus from replicating or reproducing. So how does this all work? A good analogy that was presented years ago at one of the early AIDS conferences is that the development of AIDS is like a train speeding down a track towards a ravine. We know the speed of the train is similar to the level of virus in the bloodstream or the viral load. And we know the distance the train has to travel to fall over the cliff is the CD4 count. Medicines will stop the virus from replicating and therefore will lower the viral load in the blood. Hence, it's analogous to stepping on the brakes of the train and stopping it from speeding down the track. In doing so, as the virus is suppressed, the number of T cells, or the CD4 count, will slowly increase. And that will serve as similar to adding track back to the train so that the train gets further and further from the cliff. So although the development of AIDS is like a train speeding down the track, the initiation of AIDS medicines stops the train in its tracks and we'll actually start to reverse the process altogether. Fact check. There are no symptoms of HIV until I have AIDS. True and false. This is a tricky question because many people are unaware of early symptoms of HIV until they develop AIDS. However, many people have a mononucleosis or flu-like illness several weeks after being infected with HIV. This flu-like illness, also called the acute retroviral syndrome, can make you feel sick for a few days or weeks and then goes away. Most people with the acute retroviral syndrome are unaware that they are HIV infected and because they get better over time, often don't seek medical attention. However, if you do become sick and have had a possible recent exposure, you should call your doctor and let he or she know. Fact check. HIV is forever, but AIDS is not. This is true. While infection with HIV is forever because the virus will always be within your body, the development of AIDS is not. Most infections occur when the CD4 T lymphocyte count falls below 200. So that level is when we consider people as having the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS. However, with effective therapy, we can build that CD4 lymphocyte count back up. And in fact, we can build it almost to near normal levels. So once the CD4 lymphocyte count goes above 200, that person is considered as not having AIDS anymore, even though they're still HIV infected. Fact check. I heard that when you have HIV AIDS, you have to take a handful of pills every day. False. This used to be true many years ago, but now therapy is easy to take and many patients may only have to take as little as one pill once a day. Now there's even a once per month injection that also works well. So long gone are the days in which HIV infected patients have to take lots and lots of pills. Fact check. Is it true that if I get treatment, I will have lots of side effects from medication? Mostly false. While there are common side effects from HIV medications, they are manageable. Some people initially get side effects like headache, 
or gastrointestinal upset, but these side effects tend to be short-lived and will likely get better after several days or weeks on treatment. However, some people do get intolerable side effects, and if that's the case, medications may need to be switched around until a regimen is found that works and is acceptable. Fact check. People with AIDS can have a close to normal life expectancy. This is mostly true. The key to having a long and healthy life while living with HIV AIDS is to seek out medical care and take HIV medications. While medication will not cure HIV, these medicines are so effective that they can restore your immune system to near normal levels and therefore you should live a near normal life. I'm Dr. Eric Rosenberg, and we at Mass General Brigham are here for you.